We're sitting here live with uh, Baruch women's basketball coach Kellyanne Barrett. Thanks for uh, joining us today. Thank you for having me. Um, just wanted to get a little bit into the season before it started and uh, just talk about the team a little bit and maybe a little bit about your background. Um, it's been, it was a very interesting offseason, I would say, losing uh, three seniors from this te uh, team, put in a lot of production. How do you plan uh, with some of the new st uh, girls as well as some of the existing team uh, to replace the production that you've lost? Yeah, I mean, we lost three players who are four-year players for us and very vital part of our offense and our team. Um, they're hard shoes to fill. I don't expect anyone to fill those shoes, but if everyone contributes um, to the best of their ability, I think we'll, we'll be okay. And you have three underclassmen coming in this year, uh, Lisette, Melinda, and Jasmine. What roles um, can, the, can the Baruch fans expect them to fill coming into this, uh, their first season on the team? They're freshmen, so they have a little learning to do. I think um, one player will be able to have a, um, a huge impact right away, or a big impact right away. I believe that in her. Um, and the other ones are just, you know, work in progress and every day trying to get better. And as the season progressed, you know, being better than we were when we first started. Got you. Um, your sister's on the team, Shannon Barrett. Uh, last from her sophomore to junior season, we saw from externally a big step forward in her game. Uh, in your eyes, what do you think she's capable? A, what do you think she is capable of doing, and uh, for this season? Oh, I think she's capable of even doing a lot more than she did last year. Um, you know, a little bit more of the scoring will be on her. You know, we we don't have the other ones to rely on to get some of those buckets, so there will be a little more pressure on her. But I think it's something that she can handle. Um, you know, she did work this off season, and she's in some better shape. And so, you know, sh she can extend the floor, which is also a great thing. She's playing the center position for us, but she's really a guard, so I could put her in at any position, any spot, and and let her just kind of like go to work. Um, but besides her, I think Danielle, as also as a senior, will be stepping up um, big time, and she will she'll have to at that part point guard position for us. Right, and it makes it convenient because Shannon then can then cover the one through five on the defensive end. Yeah, she can guard any position she, offensively and defensively, and for our opponents that could be a little difficult because some centers might not be able to guard her as well. So she is one of three seniors on this team, um, her, Jacqueline, and Maria. How have you seen, maybe I guess but more behind the scenes, how have they taken a broader role in becoming better leaders uh, with this group of girls, coming in knowing that almost half the team is underclassmen? Yeah, I mean, they have to be more vocal, but it's, you know, besides being vocal, it's by example. It's coming into practice and working hard every day. Um, you know, their roles have changed, especially Maria and Jackie's. You know, I've asked them to be confident in themselves and, and, you know, step up and rise to the occasion, do things within your, you know, within yourself and in what you're capable of doing, and that's all I can ask. Gotcha. You played a little college ball yourself at uh, Bentley University, 2014 uh, national champions. Yep, they were. Um, I was there for it. Excellent. It <laughs> so, from your point of view, I guess it's. In, I know you were assistant coach for four years before moving into the head coaching role. How would you see maybe? Um, how was the transition for you going from player to coach uh, early, early on in your uh, coaching career? Um. I really I didn't really, it wasn't that big of an adjustment. I feel like as a player, I kind of played a little bit of that coach role, like with my post, you know, our post groups and things like that. And I really took, you know, took to it, especially in huddles with, with my coach at Bentley, you know, paying attention. So I feel like it was a kind of an easy transition. It was something I wanted to do. Um, so that really did help learning from her, especially. When you were at Bentley, you were already you knew that you wanted to go into coaching when you were finished with your playing career, or was it just something that kind of came together as you realized, oh, you know, I kind of got the knack of this. I think it was a mixture of both. I definitely knew I wanted to coach at what level I wasn't sure, but then as you know, your career is starting to end, and it's like I've been playing basketball my whole life. I want to stay with way within it, and then it was like you know, I think college would be you know best for me right now and give me the best opportunity. So, of course, as coach, you have less impact of what happens, you know, play by play on the floor. You know, you could send out what you want, but they have to execute. Has that been tough? Because, you know, when you're playing, you're a part of the game. You're, you're actually on the floor touching the ball. Is it tough to take that step back and kind of just, you know, say, all right, I really have less, less control, obviously, but still want to implement a game plan? Um, I mean, it's all about trust, you know, it, even as a player when you're out on the floor with your other four teammates, you have to trust and believe in them. What they can do is the same thing I do here. I have to trust and believe that what we prepare and practice will, you know, will show up on the floor to the best of our ability. Obviously, we know that well, there will be mistakes, but you have to be able to accept that and just move forward. So it's all about trust. Gotcha. And uh, just to wrap it up, last thing, um, you know, going into the season, what I guess what are your expectations for the season with these girls? And then what would be a success in your eyes? 
Um, obviously, we want to be comp competitive every single day. Um, every game, we want to be competitive. Our goal is, you know, obviously everyone's goal is to win the conference. Um, but we want to be in that top tier of the conference and do the best that we can and be competitive, in, you know, in the conference. Like I said, it, every year everyone wants to win the CUNY championship, and, and that's what you strive for. And you try every day to get better and hope that, you know, you could achieve that goal. Excellent. Well, Coach Barrett, we do appreciate your time. Best of luck this season, and uh, thank you for sitting down with us today. Thank you very much.